Today we're taking a look at a 114th scale RC monster truck four wheel drive from Crowbull and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Motors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So what we're doing today is we're going to unbox, check out everything that comes with this monster truck, and then we're going to take it outside, run it, and at the end I'm going to give you my opinion on it. So what we got here is the 114th scale RC monster truck 4x4 from Krobo from Amazon. Let's go ahead and get started, open this thing up, and see what all it comes with it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this bag here and we're going to see what all it comes with. First off right here we've got a wheelie bar right here and it does come with the instructions on how to install it. That's a real nice touch. Next we've got a tool bag here. It's got a screwdriver, wheel nut wrench and extra body clips. That's always nice because you got everything to work on your truck and extra body clips as we know. Everybody likes to lose those. And I do like that they have the pull tabs on them. Next thing we got here is our bag with the battery and the charger there. I'm not going to take that out of the bag. Our battery here is a 2S basically, 2 cell, 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. And this does come with a balance port and a Dean's connector. You can use this kind of charger on it that comes with it. Or if you got a hobby raid charger, you can also charge it with that. That's probably what I'm going to do so we can get this thing up and running quick. Then we've got the instruction manual here. And looks like everything in it. Pictures are nice, neat, very detailed. See, you've got different things in here telling you which way it goes. Then we got a parts diagram in the back. That's a real nice touch. So next, let's look at the controller. Now this is something I've never seen on the controller. It's actually got a sticker over it telling you what everything is on it. That is something new to me. We'll get that off here in a second. But also I want to show you guys pop it open here you need three double a batteries to get this up and going this is a very plastic feeling controller which for something in this price point what do you expect got a foam wheel on it but i do notice on the foam wheel just to show you guys there is a little piece like taken out right there i'm going to show you everything i can find on it if there's anything wrong with it but now i'm going to get the sticker off and show you what's on top that sticker actually came off easier than what I thought it would. So you got your power button here up on top. You got your throttle trim, steering rate, and steering trim. Then you got your throttle reverse and your steering reverse here. Pretty basic. Grip on it's pretty good. Like I said, it feels like plastic. Wheel feels good for steering. So now let's move on to the truck. Now for the truck, the first thing I want to do is pop this body off and look at the body. And I can tell you first thing right off hand. I am a sucker for red, white, and blue paint jobs, and I think this paint job looks awesome on this. But what we can see here, it looks like we've got lights hooked up to it. We got reinforcements here on the body, and that's a real nice touch. And then you can tell that it's got wiring for the LEDs. Our second battery is inside, but I like how it has all the skid stuff on here for when you flip it over, because I'm sure we're going to flip it over. I'm going to try to take the body off of this so we can get a better look at the inside. All right, for the wiring, there is two plugs here that go into the ESC radio here, but it's still connected to the front, so you can't take the body all the way off from any way I can see here, so we're just going to set that to the side. Now for the battery tray here, it is a swing out battery tray to get your battery out, and then you just swing it back in for that. Let's bring it here and we're going to look. This is a radio receiver controller all in one on this. Looks like the button's very easy to push and to get to. Does have a Dean's connector on it. And then we're going to go around. Looking at the tires, there's absolutely no foam in them, which is expected. I consider this more of a toy grade than a hobby grade. Tires, they're not real. Kind of firm and stuff. They're probably just made to last. Now the shocks are adjustable on it. But I can tell you right now, they're not oil filled. So they're just pogo sticks. So don't expect a lot out of that. 
Then we got our LED lights here on the bumper. Bumper is very flexible. Bring it to the bottom here. Nothing really for skid plates or anything, which a uh, thing in this price point. Not expected to be anything special. We do got dual A-arms front and rear. And then, like I said, the same thing on the back of the shocks. You can adjust them here with nothing real fancy on it. Then we'll move it over here. We got a do not touch sticker on the motor. And I want to see how easy that comes off. I tore it a little bit, but it comes off about as easy as the one on the controller did. And there we got our little 390 motor with a heat sink on it. That's nice. They come with a heat sink so you don't overheat the motor. And then we got our little servo right there. Pretty much pretty basic setup. Looks like your uh, body mounts here are adjustable. That's pretty much everything I got for inside. Let's charge this battery up, take it outside, and let her rip. All right, now we got it outside here in the driveway, and I want to show you it's got fully proportional steering. You can see right there, it's going both ways. We go forwards and backwards as fast or as slow as we want. So everything is fully proportional on this. So let's go ahead and rip it in the driveway real quick. All right, we'll rip it out here, see how fast this thing is. And it don't look like it's too bad for a uh, toy grade RC. Kick it around some dirt here. See if it'll rip some donuts. Oh yeah, we got a donut ripper. Try it the other way. No problem at all. It's been really uh, dry here, so there's a lot of dust to kick up. Not too bad for a 1 14th scale. Get it all nice and dirty here. One thing I want to show you is the speed proportion. You take this over here, turn it all the way down, and you can see it don't even want to move. We'll move it just a little bit. Still nothing. Bump it up there. Now we're crawling. This is great for kids that you can adjust the speed. We'll adjust it up a little bit more. See it goes a little faster. Let's crank it up all the way to full blast. And now we can rip some donuts and have some power and speed. That is real nice for beginners or kids. All right, we got it out in the road here. I'm gonna let it rip here. Check out and see how it handles on the road here. Looks like it handles pretty well. Tires are nice and glued. Turns real good. See how it goes through the tall grass here. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get through that though. Oh, we did. It did have enough power for that. I was trying to get to rip donuts, but these tires do grab on here pretty good. Struggles a little bit in high grass, but anything like this that it's expected on it All right, let's go grab the ramps and try jumping it out back All right now we're all back here and I got my little ramp set up just want to kind of jump it here See how it goes Rip it through here Not too bad for what kind of RC this is of course, this ain't packed with a bunch of power with that little 390 motor. But it looks like we can hit the jumps pretty good here. Oh, two wheel action. All right, see if we can get a big run at this. There we go. Let's try to get a different angle of the jumps.
This thing jumps pretty good. Stays nice and level. Just stay on the throttle. Whoops. There you saw the rear LED lights as you hit the brakes. It does have rear brake lights on it. That's pretty sweet. Besides the front ones. Little two wheel action. Little durability test there. It can handle these little jumps with absolutely no issues. As long as you stay on the gas, this thing, it stays nice and level. So that makes it kind of fun jumping, just stay on the throttle and keep ripping like that. All right, everybody, for what this is and the price of it, I think this is a pretty fun RC for kids and for beginners to learn on. As always, I'll leave a link down below to Amazon so you guys can pick one of these up if you want to. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you all on the next one.